Welcome to EO West Masters, where this Curry, uh, this Curry, this Akali player is going to be facing off against the Syndra, one of the more difficult matchups as of right now. Syndra, probably the single best mid laner that is, um, yeah, that is, that is being played right now. Probably a perma ban on the Korean server. Uh, here it did come through. And also, I mean, I don't need to explain to you that as a Kali, you know, you just, uh, Syndra is just kind of, you know, there's not many stages in the game in which you just win. So you're kind of supposed to be just, you know, yeah, you, you just have to, you just have to, uh, you just have to be a magician, right? You just have to dodge those E's and I uh, so a lot of this, a lot of this matchup is a spacing matchup, right? So I want you to look at how exactly Kali moves and where he clicks. You can always see where someone clicks by judging about the direction that the champion is facing. Around that, you know, is where they click. And so you always want to look at what is he doing here, right? Is he walking up to the farm straight up or is he going to be walking back and forth? And uh, so what exactly is going on? He is running Electrocute, which Electrocute is definitely something that will eat into his survivability, but allow him to generally find very good all-ins versus mage champions like the Syndra. Syndra being very careful here, probably expecting a gank. Obviously knows that Fiddlesticks counter ganks not the craziest, although we have seen some pretty strong fiddlesticks early game play in a cast that I have recently done. So if you're interested in that, you'll find that on my channel. Should be yeah, should be on just a couple of days ago. Just fiddlesticks cast, and this, that is obviously a Korean fiddlesticks one trick. And um, he is ridiculously scary. All right, decent spacing by both. Ooh, Syndra, not the best Q here. Yeah, we are auto-attacking a bunch, which, as Syndra players, this oftentimes is a good option to confuse the enemy player because, obviously, you... They are so focused on dodging your Qs that you can deal a lot of damage to them. All right. All right. Mm. All right, minion picked up by Akali. Akali is pushing in. This is the scariest part of the game by far. So n right now there is no shuriken flip available. So if there was a fiddlesticks that would fear you now, you would be in pretty big trouble. As so obviously the fear into the silence could take you down. Yeah, this is a good ward. And you see that Syndra is starting to counter push here, right? Syndra is starting to take control of the wave again, which for Akali now poses the question of what exactly do we do? Oh, the shuriken flip does connect, but you see the priority of Syndra at knockback. The force of nature will still get Akali to... That was not a good ward. That was not, that was not a very good ward. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why. I don't know that ward. That ward is not optimal. Ooh, okay. And the auto attack connects. Yeah, electrocute is used. Second Q. Gotta be careful with Syndra ultimate here. Oh, we're not gonna hit level six. Ah. Damn it, dude. If he was somehow able to hit level six there, but obviously he doesn't, as Syndra built up a big wave. All part of the plan. Syndra Force of Nature comes out. So gotta be very careful here with the level 6. Alright. No angle found by the Akali. As Syndra will leave the lane now and recall as I would assume. Interestingly enough, her, her, her teleport is off cooldown. So it seems like there's been like some early game shenanigans. Some fighting. As Akali will try to push out the wave. So far not too successful on the collecting CS front. Got to be a little bit careful. Yeah, okay. Got to be a little bit careful with the fiddlesticks. Could be catching the wave. But I mean, not much you can do there. As he has 1,500 gold. Which means, yeah, it's going to be probably a blasting wand. 
Oh no, it's going to be Mercury Treads and the Dark Seal. Okay, that's a very interesting choice, but yeah, makes decent amount of sense at least versus the Syndra, but I find it very curious that he doesn't have any regeneration. I would understand it if he had Flute Footwork, then maybe getting no potions is fine, but like this, Syndra can bully out pretty hard because Syndra got a Lost Chapter Recall, which is all that she needs. All right, Syndra, the ultimate, will hit. Yeah, Syndra caught out of position. The flash is her only option, and beautiful force of nature actually denies the Akali the ultimate here. And yeah, this is actually a good catch out of uh, Syndra. She did a pretty solid job at denying Akali her all in there. All right, let's see what Syndra does with the wave here, as obviously Syndra still has control of it does push it in is going to be able to punish the akali here as well as she does have no healing Ooh, but beautifully the pike finds the angle syndra yeah not careful enough force of nature though right flash out of the akali and picks up a kill on to the syndra as obviously syndra had to flash so flash advantage was used very well here and that is syndra going down and Akali collects her first little bit of money. Now it's going to be Amtome and the refillable, I would assume, right? That would make the most sense. Amtome and the refillable, yep. And we are going back to fully regenerate our HP, like fully, fully, which is always a question mark. But Oracle Lens actually picked up. Interesting. So Oracle Lens obviously is a little bit of a choice of not being safe against fiddle six ults anywhere anymore but fiddlesticks one three and one questionable build actually is going lost chapter <sighs> lost chapter out of all things huh all right i uh find that interesting but sure why not all right auto attack q solid trade but didn't proc the electrocute unfortunately Got to be a little bit careful. I can't. Please, dude, that minion is valuable. All right, 66 CS yes, to 61. So already a lead for Akali. As the ultimate connects, uh, force of nature not too good. The shuriken lands, and that is going to be an ER, right? What? Never mind. This is why this is why this is why I can't play Akali. Hmm. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, he, she would have probably died there. That's my read on it, but I thought that like E E into instant R. Because you, you don't have to connect with the E to kill Syndra there. You can E and then once you're in R range, you can just R over her. Mm-mm. <clears throat> Because your R actually <clears throat> stops your E animation. So, you know, you, you can... You have a good amount of maneuverability there, but... <clears throat> goes for the safer play. Definitely the smart play. Alright, Hexic Alternator acquired, and we are teleporting, instantly teleporting back into the lane. Let's have a look at the dragons. Nope, not happening. We are currently going to fight over the Herald. So lane pushed in, Syndra is revealed herself, and yeah, we're going to be starting off the Herald here. Chen should probably not be recalling, but given the fact that he has the HP that he has, obviously there's not much choice. Ultimate comes out of Fiddlesticks and Akali. As Akali, the Shuriken will not connect. Uh, that wasn't... Yeah... That wasn't the most optimal play, but I mean, the Herald is secured, so as ugly as that was, it is still going to be a Herald picked up for the red team. Yeah, Syndra is such a bully, dude. Syndra is such a bully, man. What a bully. Alright. <clears throat> that bully obviously doesn't have much to fear right now out of the Akali, as obviously ultimate has been used. Which means that Akali is... Currently halfway through a cooldown of that ultimate. I'm gonna have to wait 
couple more waves, three waves, to be able to use that again. Uh, we're moving into the top side of the map. No, we're not, you know, just having a little gander. What is going on there? But, you know, this is always a good thing to do is obviously this Akali knows she there is nothing to be gained from dealing with the Syndra right now. So I think Syndra pushing in the wave actually doesn't make that much sense. I think it wouldn't be a good play of Syndra to hold the wave in the middle and then crash two waves instead. As Akali actually has her ultimate back up after two waves. The Ash ultimate will catch the Syndra. And yeah, this is just a dead Syndra at this point. Oh, beautiful finish off with the Shuriken. I find it very interesting that the Sakali holds her E for very long times. Don't know what that is about, but something that I've noticed. Obviously, the E is oftentimes where your combos can fail, so maybe that is the reason. But yeah, I, I find it I find it very interesting. Refillable Sold, Blasting Wand in the inventory, and an Amp Tome. So we are currently at 800 gold required to be able to hit that Proto Belt. Proto Belt, pretty, pretty important. As um, on the Syndra now, there is a Ludens Echo. So item advantage definitely goes over to Syndra. However, obviously the Merc Treads kind of make up for that. As they are a pretty good item. Good W, yeah. Good first strike value. Decent force of nature here. Akali ultimate not available. Ooh, very creative trade actually. Flips into the minions for 1Q. Obviously didn't work out that well, but you know, it's a... I, I love it whenever I see the E used in that way. Um, oftentimes it's not worth it, unfortunately. But whenever it is, it is going to be absolutely gorgeous. Available. Sure, we can land. What? Why are we not even trying? Yeah, interesting. He probably knew he wouldn't be able to kill that. I'm kind of surprised, but because this Ezreal is like he's level seven. You know what I mean? Like he's not. He's not going to have a lot of MR, but apparently, apparently. All right, we will pick up the Proto Belt in a couple of seconds, right? Probably going to pick it up. I don't know if it's available after this wave. I don't think so. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't guess so. This one, if you collect the cannon minion, then it would be. No one is visible on the map. Okay, so Jenna and Ezreal are showing themselves, so you at least know they're not here, but obviously it doesn't need that many people to take you down. So there would already be enough. So sure you can land, and he will take down the cannon. 84, I'm expecting a recall. <laughs> Probably doesn't have the money quite yet. Hmm. Yeah, rather unfortunate, but it is fine. As obviously, I think that pushing the waves here, not the best call. Because um, this is going to just put waves into a favorable position for Syndra. But yeah, I, I assumed so. The gold is now available. 900 gold um, available here for Akali. She will pick up the Hextech Rocket Belt. No potions again, though. And generally in the side lane, you want to build one, two waves and kind of give Syndra a little bit to lose. All right, double kill for Pike as his team is in a very solid situation here. So, you know, not that much. What is this shield? Wait, what is that Ash shield? Where's that come from? Can someone explain to me what... What? Where's that come from? Oh! He doesn't land! No! Hmm. Where did that shield come from? I'm actually very confused. Oh, it's... Oh! Of course! The... 
the chemtech the chemtech um pl healing plants here yeah those guys chemtech honey plants they are what uh, gave her that shielding because i was thinking like that's a green shield as well where does that come from right but yeah of course chemtech dragon all right, Rift Herald in four seconds. Not the highest priority right now. Kali does have her teleport, but obviously. Is it worth it to teleport for that? One could argue. All right, with Proto Belt available, there is like not really any big power spikes we are going to recall for. So at this point, it's probably best to just exhaust Sh Syndra's resources. Syndra... Hmm. Syndra might have left. Okay. The GP ult's coming out. The GP went down though with Chen living with a slither of HP. Ooh, shut on onto the ash. Fancy for Fancy for the Ezreal, obviously. Right, pretty good. Alright, this is going to be the Kali roam now yeah a little bit late on that a uh, little bit late on that but you know might be able to still catch something fiddlesticks off looking over this whole situation as well as we are looking for the janna and i think that was actually not the best janna q but it should be fine Ryo phoenix comes out yeah okay so kill picked up this guy just this guy does not use his E in the normal Akali manner. Like, this guy does not use his uh, his RE that much. You saw that, right? So weird. So weird. A Verdant Barrier picked up now. Verdant Barrier is obviously really, really nice, as Verdant Barrier gives you ridiculous amounts of MR. Generally, Banshee's Veil does. And it allows you, if you hit your E onto a Syndra, it can be very difficult as Syndra has to hit you with a Q first to be able to still get that force of nature off, right? So it makes it much more difficult for the Syndra, but the main feature here, not the barrier, it is going to be the magic resist in general. Takes down one. Uh, gotta be a little bit careful here with the GP as the ultimate comes out. Chen is in the backline and that is a kill picked up by Pike once again. And that is a double kill for Pike. Actually, triple kill for Pike. 10 0 and 8 as he has given out a lot of cash money as well to the Sakali player with 10 Dark Seal stacks right now. You know what would be really cool? If Pike ultimate also gave Dark Seal stacks and Hydra stacks to anyone he shared the cut with. That would be pretty neat. Oh, flash. Oh, that is a <laughs> that is a surrender already. Well, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And stay awesome.